This is where I used to live the past year. Now I'm moving out uh, into a in with a teammate and uh, a friend. And I just got all my junk out here. Mountain bike, my moped that I rip around the town. Got my DJ board in there because I like to DJ. Um, but yeah, just a bunch of bunch of crap going on out here. Life in Bozeman. Life in Bozeman. Just spent the last two and a half weeks in Tor or, uh, Sweden and Norway. Uh, the first part of camp was in a town called Torsby, uh, ski tunnel, which was the main reason we went there. Um, and it's basically a 1.2 kilometer long refrigerated frozen tunnel. Yeah, definitely weird, but super fun at the same time. Um, very uh, good terrain inside the tunnel, which was way better than I thought there was gonna be. Um, there were some big hills, fun descents, um, and yeah, just very weird going from hot weather outside to 20, 25 degrees inside. Yeah, I definitely learned some things like technique wise that I think I'm making some good adjustments and kind of try out now while we're roller skiing. Um, but yeah, you just learn a lot of small things when you ski behind some of the best people in the world. The roller ski races were quite interesting, but quite fun. Uh, just cool to be a part of something that's so watched and loved in those countries. Um, like just so many spectators at the races and we were told that there were quite a few people watching online, like in the millions, which was pretty cool. Um, the first day we got to take a ferry with all the athletes to the start of the 54K. Uh, race and just good energy on the boat. Everyone was kind of excited. It was a, a night race. We started at 6.30 p.m. So definitely getting dark uh, by the time we finished, but super pretty on the water, uh, like uh, police cars, motorcycles with cameras. Yeah, just a lot of, lot of fiasco going on. Kind of more solidified my knowledge or my thought of being able to hang with some of the best in the world and like a few minor tweaks here and there this fall. I think that once hopefully when I get over to the World Cup, it should be super competitive. And you realize that they're not these like just famous people you see on TV, but they're just athletes just like me and they train just as hard as I do. And um, yeah, we're all the same type of people. The vibe was super fun all the whole camp. It was just six of us guys. My old teammate from UVM, Ben Ogden. Uh, being named was kind of just like a, a good job for all my hard work, I guess, the past couple seasons. And while some things have gone my way and others haven't, it was definitely a, a big positive and mental boost to keep me going for more and more seasons to come, which is exciting um, and just great energy on these camps, um, super easy living, like you don't have to worry about anything, don't have to worry about food or even dishes most of the time. You just kind of eat, sleep and train and just have a good time with all your friends. I would say before I was named to the team, my approach is the same, just trying to be the, the best uh, skier in the US or one of the best skiers in the US and just being a part of the team with the best skiers in the US just helps me kind of train with them and see what they're doing and yeah, be closer to them, I guess, than making them feel like I'm a, a lower or lesser athlete. They know I'm right there with them. 